Okay. In the last video, we have seen what, what, why do we need this Neville's algorithm. In this video, I'll, I'll explain what exactly Neville's algorithm is. Okay. So, uh, before uh, explaining, uh, explaining what is Neville's algorithm, we need some definitions. Okay. So, we'll make a background. So, first definition is, suppose we have this x0, x1, x2, xn. Suppose these are n data points. Then we know that if we make a Lagrange polynomial, if we approximate the underlining function, we have these data points. Correspondingly, we have the values of the function, right? And if we approximate this function with a Lagrange polynomial, then le that Lagrange polynomial, p of x, which is written as x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus xn divided by x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, and so on x naught minus x n times y naught plus so on okay we have these n plus one terms so this is a polynomial of degree n right we know that these two polynomials they agree with each other at the data points right so it means that at x naught the value of the function is same as the value of the polynomial and similarly at x1 the value of the function is same as the value of the polynomial and so on okay so it means that uh, the function underlining function and the Lagrange polynomial they agree at the n plus 1 data points now suppose we have some polynomial right which does not agree with the function at all the data points but it agrees at some data points for example suppose x1 uh, m x m1 x m2 and x m k these are the k data points at which a function f that which is the underlining function and some polynomial agrees then we call that polynomial as we just uh, denote that polynomial as p m1 m2 m3 mk right so this is the notation which we need to use again and again so i'll just explain with an example so that it is easy suppose we have this data suppose we have this data 1 2 3 4 6 2 3 4 6 this is my x0 this is my x1 this is x2 this is x3 this is x4 and the correspondingly we have the values of the function e e square e cube e4 e5 so basically we are you know we have the underlying function as exponential function right so what do we mean by p01 okay so p01 means a function a polynomial which agrees with the underlying function at the data point x0 and x1 so p01 will be a polynomial which is obtained using these two data points so what is p01 p01 will be x minus x1 divided by x0 minus x1 into y0 plus x minus x0 divided by x1 minus x0 into y1 so this is what i mean by p01 so this is equal to x minus x1 is 2 upon x0 is 1, 1 minus 2, y0 is e plus x minus x0 is 1, x1 is 2 minus 1, y0 is e square, uh, y1 is e square. This is your y0, this is your y1, this is your y2, this is y3, and this is y4. Okay. So similarly, what do you mean by p234? So p234 is a uh, polynomial which is uh, created using the data points x2, x3 and x4. So what is this polynomial? This polynomial will be x minus x3, x minus x4 upon x2 minus x3, x2 minus x4 into p2, uh, y2 plus x minus x2, x minus x4 divided by x3 minus x2 into x3 minus x4 into y3 plus x minus x2 x minus x3 divided by x4 minus x2 into x4 minus x3 into y4 right so this is the polynomial p234 right so similarly whenever you are given n plus 1 data points so you can generate polynomials of these types so i think the notation should be clear by now this notation will be used in the Neville's algorithm right so let us see what Neville's algorithm is for that we need for Neville's algorithm we need to uh, know one theorem I'll write down the statement write down the statement statement is let f be defined at let f be a function 
define that these data points x0, x1, x2, these k plus 1 data points, right? And let xi and xj are two distinct numbers in this set, right? Out of these n, uh, k plus 1 data points, we are choosing two distinct numbers, xi and xj are two distinct numbers in this set. Then there is a theorem which says that Px, Px is nothing but your Lagrange polynomial using all the k data points, right? This is, this is a polynomial which is obtained using all these k data points. This is same as if I just make a polynomial which agrees with the uh, function at these data points except at jth data point. So this is 0, 1, 2, j minus 1, j plus 1, k, okay, multiply it with x minus xj, right, and then minus x minus xi, I create a Lagrange polynomial which agrees everywhere except at ith data point, I think this notation is clear by now, this is what we have, uh, 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 this is what we have defined in the last slide, right, divided by xi minus xj. What, what is the meaning? For example, in the last case, we had these data points 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And so then it means that the polynomial which agrees everywhere, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? It is a polynomial which, which is uh, obtained using all these data points. This is same as x minus, suppose I have chosen this 0 and 1, this is same as x minus x minus, I am uh, I'm choosing 0, x minus x0 into p1234 minus x minus x1 into p0234 divided by x1 minus x0. So basically what you are doing, here the polynomial was agreeing with the underlying function at four, uh, 5 data points and this is a polynomial which is agreeing at 4 data points. So this is a polynomial of degree 4 and this is a polynomial of degree 3 and degree 3. So what you are doing, you are utilizing the work which you have done in the computation of the polynomial of degree 3 for the computation of the polynomial of degree 4, right? So this is what we wanted. We wanted to utilize our work which we have done to interpolate the polynomials of smaller degree, okay? We wanted to utilize that work for the computation of the polynomial of higher degree. So this is the theorem, right? Now let us prove this. This is very simple. I want to establish this relation, right? So how we can establish this relation? Okay, so let us see. So we want to prove that P of X is X minus XJ. P 0, 1, 2, J minus 1, J plus 1, K minus X minus XI. P 0, 1, 2, I minus 1, I plus 1, K divided by xi minus xj right okay so let us see what is the value of the p this p at the point xi see this will be xi minus xj and this is the polynomial which agrees with the function f everywhere except at xj so it means that when i compute this polynomial at the point xi i'll get f of xi so this is nothing but f of xi minus what is this xi minus xi that is 0 divided by xi minus xj so this is equal to f of xi it means that this particular polynomial p it implies p of xi is equal to p of uh, sorry f of xi where f is your underlying function which you want to approximate and similarly now let us see what is p of xj so p of xj the first term will be 0 the second term will be the first term is 0 and the second term will be <coughs> xj minus xi with a negative sign, xj minus xi with a negative sign and this is a polynomial which agrees uh, with the function f everywhere except at xi. So when I compute this polynomial at xj, I will get f of xj divided by xi minus xj. So this these two terms will cancel with negative sign. So this is equal to f of xj. So you get that p of xj is equal to f of xj. 
right so this is a polynomial of degree how much these are how many points these are k points so this is a polynomial of degree k minus 1 okay this is a polynomial of degree k minus 1 into a linear polynomial so this is a polynomial of degree k sorry this is a polynomial of degree k at most k right now what is p at x n for n not equal to i not equal to j right what is p at x n see when you put here p is equal to x n what you will get you will get p of x n is equal to x n minus x j now this is a polynomial which agrees with f everywhere except at j so uh, when i compute it at x n i'll get f of x n minus what is this this is x n minus x i again similarly i'll get f of x n here divided by x i minus x j so what is this this is equal to x n x n will cancel x i minus x j into f of x n divided by x i minus x j so this is equal to f of x n so what we have get we have this thing p of x i is equal to f of x i so n we can write p of x n is equal to f of x n for all n is equal to 0 1 2 3 k right so but we know that lagrange polynomial also agrees with f at these n data points at, at this k plus 1 data points and lagrange polynomial is the unique polynomial we know that there is a unique polynomial passing through k plus 1 data points of degree k therefore this should be nothing but the lagrange polynomial so in this way we have proved this theorem okay the uniqueness of the lagrange polynomial tells us that this thing is nothing but this p is nothing but your lagrange polynomial so it means that we now know how to you know uh, split a polynomial of degree 5 which is obtained using six data points into a linear combination of polynomial of degree 4 using five data points right so let us see how suppose i have these data points x0 x1 x2 and x3 and x4 suppose i have these five data points and i have corresponding value of y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 now tell me what do i mean by p0 p0 is a polynomial which agrees with my underlying function only at the point x0 so this will be a polynomial of degree 0 because there is only one data point so this will be a polynomial of degree 0 and polynomial of degree 0 will be a constant so this is nothing but my y not only so this is my p not this is my p1 this is my p2 this is my p3 this is my p4 now suppose i want to compute p01 this is a polynomial which agrees with the underlying function at the data point 0 and 1 then i know the formula this is equal to x minus x not into p1 minus x minus x1 into p not divided by x1 minus x not so i can use these two values to compute my p01 similarly i can use these two values to compute my well, uh, p12 and then i can use these two values to compute p13 and then i can use these values to compute p34 right and similarly suppose i want to next go to the these are the polynomial of deg these are the polynomial of degree 0 these are the polynomial of degree 1 now i want to go to the polynomial of degree 2 so i have something like p012 p012 is a polynomial which agrees at the data point 0 1 and 2 by using the last theorem i can write it as x minus x not into p12 minus x minus x2 into p01 divided by x2 minus x1 so it means that i can use these two data point uh, values to compute p012 i can use these two values to compute p123 and then i'm sorry this should be 23 okay and then i can use these two values to compute q p23 uh, 234 and similarly these are the polynomials of degree 2 then i can move ahead to compute the polynomials of degree 3 so i can compute these uh, use these two values to compute p0 1 2 3 and then these two values to compute p1 2 3 4 and then i can uh, this is a polynomial of degree 3 and then i can use uh, these two values to compute the polynomials of degree 4 0 1 2 3 4 this is a degree 4 polynomial and this is my lagrange polynomial using all the data points okay so let us just do one example so this is neville's algorithm 
so nervous intelligence is nothing but you have to just use the values of the polynomials of the lower degree to compute the values of polynomials of the higher degree right so let us just look at one example which i have already we have discussed this example in the last slide last video suppose i have these data points and i want to compute f of 1.5 right right or you are just asked to complete the neville's table so what you can do what is this this is your p not this is your p1 this is your p2 this is your p3 this is your p4 right so you have to complete the table so first thing is you have to use these two to compute p01 then you have to use these two to compute p12 and use these two to compute p23 and then use these two to compute p34 so what will be p01 of x p01 of x will be x minus x not into p1 minus x minus x1 into p not divided by x1 minus x not so in this case what is your x x is the point where you want to compute that is 1.5 so p01 at 1.5 will be 1.5 minus what is x not this is your x not this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 this is x4 so 1.5 minus 1.0 into p1 p1 is how much point 6200 minus x minus x1 x1 uh, x is again 1.5 x1 is 1.3 into what is your p not p not is your 0.7651 divided by what is your x1 x1 is again 1.3 minus 1.0 so it will be you if you calculate this will be 0.5233 right so this value is your 0.5233 similarly you can compute these values so you will get this is as 0.5102 and this is equal to 0.5132 and this is equal to 0.5104 okay now these are the polynomials of degree how much 2 sorry 1 these were constants and these are the polynomials of degree p01 is a polynomial of degree 1 right and similarly p12 is a polynomial of degree 1 these are all the polynomials of degree 1 now you can move ahead you can use these two data points to compute p012 p123 p234 okay so how you compute p012 p012 i'll write it here p012 how to compute p012 by using the theorem it is equal to x minus x not into p12 minus x minus x2 into p01 divided by x2 minus x not you just put the values and you will get it is equal to 0.124 5124 so this is coming out to be 0.5124 similarly you can compute this thing this is coming out to be 0.5112 and this is coming out to be 0.5137 right and similarly you can move ahead you can compute the polynomials of degree these are the polynomials of degree 2 then you can compute the polynomials of degree 3 so if you use these two data points you will get 5.5118 and it is also coming out to be 0.5118 right and then similarly you can move these uh, use these two values to compute your uh, polynomial of degree 4 or oh, that is using all the data points is also coming out to be 0.5118 right so this is how you have to do your neville's algorithm right so what is the use you can see that uh, you have uh, you don't have to compute the polynomial here the polynomial is of degree 3 but you don't have to compute the polynomial again you are using the polynomials of degree 2 the values of the polynomial of degree 2 to compute the values of the polynomial of degree 3 so this is your neville's algorithm thank you